today is one of those days when I couldn't get to this table fast enough. <laughs> Welcome, Gemini. This week, I'm going to be talking about your next relationship, your next love. So let's get into it, Gemini. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't um, resonate for your Sun sign, check out your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. Okay, a um, couple of things. Next week, we're going to be doing a past life regression to eliminate all money blocks. So if you have that issue, um, you might want to check that out. We're also doing one at the end of the month about, especially uh, at the end of the month, we're doing one about Twin Flame. Okay, so this reading... Uh, I'm looking into uh, who's showing up for you next and that past life regression about twin flame is about understanding where you are on the path, understanding your, your twin flame, your partner, understanding who that is and why they're there. So if you want to sign up for uh, one of those sessions or both of those sessions, I invite you to do that. All right. Let's see where we go. June is a very special month. This is the summer solstice. We are remembering I, I had a very strong dream last night that's why i couldn't wait to get here about the remembering okay the remembering of who you are and that is the purpose of my channel is to help all y'all open up and remember who you are and where you came from and what you're doing here okay so gemini let's see where we're going i'm going to do a different spread here than i normally do this is about twin flame soulmate or karmic who's coming up for you Protected by angels. I like that. You are cherished by the angels. Trust that there is a divine plan. If you're feeling lost right now, mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you. Wow. 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 <laughs> Charlie, hold on to those for me. Um, I know that some of you have been kind of lost in this little void recently. Sort of like I talked about it in the morning message today about between... You know, the two eclipses in the early part of the year, there's eclipses at the end of the year. They always come in pairs, okay? So the uh, the full moon, lunar eclipse, blood moon, flower moon in May uh, in Sagittarius was the opening of this portal. The, uh, the part where you come out the other end is June 10th, and then we're into the summer solstice. We're into a very powerful solar eclipse on that June 10th new moon in Gemini. Okay, so there's lots going on here. Let's see what happens when I lay down your next relationship. I'm gonna lay it all down. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk through it as I lay it down, what I, which is what I usually do. I'm gonna look at it holistically and then we'll talk about it, okay? Okay, all right, those of you in my tarot class know. Underneath is the Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Three of Cups, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Star, Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Seven of Wands. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So a lot of times when I do private readings for people, which I haven't done in a long time, um, I ask the person who's getting the reading, you know, what do you see? What jumps out at you? And the thing that jumped out at me first was, first of all, there are three knights here. Okay, wands, pentacles, and cups. The one that's missing is swords. The swords is the fastest energy. So I feel like that tells me this is going from a slow, this is a slow build in this relationship. This is a slow build. Um, also what jumped out at me is the star. It's the only, um, this is the only major arcana card in this spread, which tells me this is a, if you're feeling in this desert passage, like there's not much going on, you'd be correct, but not much going on in terms of, okay. In terms of moving forward, not much going on. True. But under the surface, there's a lot going on because you're kind of step out of this as a mystic healer. Okay, so a lot going on. I feel like they're, the universe is saying to both of you, just hold on, just wait. There's nothing to do right now. Okay, and I know maybe Gemini, you're not that happy about hearing that, but I feel like things will pick up in the next, um, by the 4th of July here. I feel like things will pick up. 
Um, so the person that you're dealing with is a love partner. This is a soulmate for sure. Um, this is somebody I, I'm seeing Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, right? I see all y'all air signs and Scorpio. So I feel like there, I feel like for, um, for you, Gemini, there could be another air sign or a Scorpio. I feel like you're taking things very slowly and deliberately in your life. And that's really cool. Um, this other person is the Knight of Cups. This other person may not be seeing you right now. You may not see them right now, or you're seeing them. They're not seeing you. They're going through something here. Okay. So they're looking, this Knight of Cups is in this kind of despair about their life right now. Okay. Um, they're waiting on the right person, which is you. Okay. So four of cups and four of wands subconsciously. They're waiting for the right relationship. This is what the universe is saying to them. Wait, don't take what's being offered to you right now. Okay, don't take what's being offered to you right now. I feel like there is a celebration coming. Three of Cups, this is some kind of, it could start out as friendship. If this person was part of your past, you know, um, it was lost at one point and you're not seeing that it's going to have another, another shot. Okay. This could also be somebody who, um, who walked away from you at one point. I think they regret that. Okay. I think they regret that. I feel like you are kind of going in two different directions about this. You want to take it slow, but the passion is strong with this person. So you got to be careful about that. I feel because legit, they are wanting a real relationship with you. They're not wanting a fling. They're not a player. They're not interested in something in anything like that. So this person that's coming in, I feel like you both have had some rough situations. I feel like they're going through one right now. Uh, Knight of Cups and Knight and uh, Nine of Swords, but they're almost to the end of it. So I feel like you can work with them. Three of Pentacles. Three of Cups. You may come together because of some kind of cause, some kind of work, all right, some kind of um, capability that you have together, all right. I feel like this is um, very much a wish granted on your part. You've been manifesting this person. You've been wanting this person back in your life. Or if this is somebody you don't know, this is definitely a past life soulmate. Um, this could be a twin flame, somebody who you want in your life. You're actively asking the universe, asking your angels, say it out loud, say it out loud to them. Hey, Hey team, bring in the love of my life. Bring in my twin flame, bring in my soulmate. All right. I feel like this person is dealing with a karmic right now. Okay. And I feel like that's coming to an end death and justice. This is balanced out. If there was some kind of sadness on one person's side, if, if, you know, if you do know who this is and this was, you know, this ended at a long time ago or this ended, they still are not in the place where they're ready to accept you back. Okay. Or, um, where they're ready to accept love in general. So that's why this may start out as friends. Um, but I do feel in their heart of hearts, I feel like they love you very much. And I do feel like it's just caution. They're just behaving very cautiously. All right. I'm going to clarify a couple things here because I do feel like this go is going toward lovers. I do feel like this is going toward your energy, Gemini, twin energy. Um, so it does feel to me like that's very, very possible. Um, one, two. So in the next three months, I feel like you're going to, let's see, in the next three months, what? Ace of Pentacles, brand new tangible offer. All right. So this person is likely to make a romantic offer. Okay. You have practicality on your side. You're kind of like, okay, I'm going to take an wait and see approach a little bit. Um, please clarify what this nine of swords is for them. Nine of Cups, World, Judgment. Wow. 
This is a huge crossroads in their life. I feel like they're ending something. They're ending another relationship. Okay. It's over. Uh, I feel like because they love you or because this will be a very strong love, I feel like that um, situation was about something else. It was about some other kind of lesson in their life. But the love lesson is with you. They're showing up as the Knight of Cups with you. So this is bringing in a new beginning, a new chance. Uh, and they will reach out, communicate three months, eight months, three months, eight months. Puts it, let's say the end of the year, the year closes out and then there's a suddenly a, a, a communication. They could, you could have some kind of friendly connection with them in the next three months, okay, over the summer. And then some, and then more comes at the end of the year, all right, a rush of communication. Um, so clarify this five of swords for me down here. Emperor, king of cups, knight of, there's the knight, knight of swords, queen of cups. Um... One more here. Six of Cups. Yeah, coming back around to you after another relationship ends. Aww. After another relationship ends, um, I feel like there's still some anger or control. They're trying to control themselves. I feel like the person they're with has a lot of anger. Okay, I feel like they're trying to control themselves. This person could be an Aries also. Another air sign or a Scorpio or an Aries. Yeah, another air sign, Scorpio, or uh, Aries. Okay, fire sign. Um, there's a lot of passion with this person. But they're capable of love. See, this is their old relationship. There's some kind of anger or frustration. Okay? And I feel like this is somebody from your childhood or very young time in your life. You know, this could be like a first love. A first love returning. Because the knights are kind of teenagery, it feels like this was maybe this was a teenager love. They're ending a relationship though. Could be with a water sign. But there's definitely some kind of controlling energy here. And, you know, it's like it's time to go. It's time for this to end. Um so in the next three months, I feel like this is gonna be a friendly connection. There's still some regrets. There's still some regrets, and I don't think this person is ready until the end of the year, okay? The Mystic Healer, what is the Mystic Healer about? Three of Wands, Hermit, Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like the two of you are have some kind of work together. Mystic Healer, this is the Mystic Healer and um, the Hermit. So I feel like this is what's coming up. Is that you need to be together because uh, it will be a long-term thing okay um, you need to be together because you're doing some kind of oh, I'm gonna fall off the couch honey some kind of uh, life partnership some kind of work three of Pentacles you have some kind of mystical work with this person okay so by the end of the year ace of Pentacles all right you're gonna fall off <laughs> I don't want you falling off Okay. <laughs> Don't disturb me, mom. All right. So I'm going to continue on. I will look at blocks. I'll look at where we go with this. I'll dive deeper into what you need to do or what you need to not do. Okay. So uh, if you want to continue on with me, Gemini, this is <laughs> twin flame, soulmate, or karmic. This looks like a soulmate could be a twin flame. Okay. All right. They're, it might be leaving a karmic. They're leaving a karmic behind. Okay, if you want to continue on, the link is below. Gemini, I'll see you over there.